We're live. Hi, I'm Krista, and I'm here with Scott. Hope you guys are having a great Sunday. Hey guys, it's Scott Coom, Spiritual Warfare 2020 Facebook group, and Krista's go ahead and ask some questions. Um, I guess my main thing is I've been getting a lot of um, feedback from other Christians that they're feeling very frustrated right now, being restricted and not being able to attend church and being locked down in a lot of areas still and not having our freedom and our everything has changed for us. What advice would you give people right now that are really having a hard time and struggling, Scott? So right now is definitely a hard time for a lot of people. Um, we've got like 10% unemployment. They're just sitting at the house. We've got a virus that's shutting down businesses. A lot of small businesses are going out of business forever. Um, there's a lot of things, problems, people losing most everything. So I, I totally understand that right now is definitely a decisive moment of change in this world. And if you're very resistant to change, then this is going to be even harder for you. But we have to remember that the Lord already knew what was going to happen, and He's already got plans for us post-COVID and for right now in this intervening, inter, intervening time. And so God is still just as active right now, if not more active, than He was before. So it is a time to cry out. I know that there's a lot of spiritual wisdom that we are used to just coming into our lives. Um, lots of fellowships with believers. With the church shut down, you know, we don't get that compatibility anymore. We don't get that yeah. interaction. Um, but we can start it virtually. And maybe that's up to you to start that. Maybe you have a calling to, to hey, let's get this thing started. And then we have something where we can actually, you know, get the same spiritual nutrition into our lives that we had before. Does that sound about right? Um, what would you say to Christians that want to grow or feel stuck so, in their faith? Okay, so the Christian life, just as every life, is, is the ups and downs of life, okay? Nothing is, is just straight stagnant or straight, we're always growing and growing and growing, growing, okay? There are times of ups and downs. So naturally, in times of change, it's, it's a lot harder for us to be settled with our routines. We're not comfortable with the, the things that are going on. And so it, it creates more burdens we're getting less confident with what we are doing and so we want to be able to like say okay i've got life right now now where can i put my passion into right now it's either I've, i'm i'm like on slippery gravel you know I'm, I'm just trying to keep myself from falling um that's so. a great idea routines I think we all need daily routines to get us through every day, and I'd love to hear more about that later. What suggestions you would give us Christians on a daily basis for that? Okay, so <clears throat> what routines were working for you beforehand? Some of you prayed every day. Keep praying. Some of you went to church and Bible studies, you know, it might be up to you to instigate it that, hey, we need the virtual church. Um, we've had a major kneecapper to the church, and right now is a time of change, and it might be that we're behind the times. We need to start a virtual church, and you can be instigating into getting that done, and it will not have to look like what we had before, but we do need fellowship with believers. We do need to, you know, break up into smaller groups after a church or something, or sermons or worships. 
and you know pray about it pray about what what lord do you have for me what can you be for me now that you haven't been before mm, that sounds like a familiar bible verse to me <laughs> mm. that's kind of a cookism i call but um like <clears throat> if we ask um and lean not on our own understanding of what's going on, but in all our ways acknowledge him. He will, he will lead the way. He will guide us. He will, he's promised us that, hey, if you trust in me, if you follow what I say, I will lead you through. And I will make a better person out of you at the end of this than what you have right now. How many of you would be interested in learning more about... <clears throat> having Scott write out a plan for you guys for your daily routines to help you get through your days, because I know I really would. So if you could reach out in our comment section below, that would be awesome. Thanks, Scott. Hope you guys have a great Sunday night. Yeah, let us know, okay? We look forward to hearing from you. Bye. God bless.